here we back like bra straps is Vach Lombardi. We're here to take a look at young Connor Williams and how he did versus the Seattle Seahawks. Um, <clears throat> I mean, this will be a Connor Williams Seahawk review, but it'll also um, I will also use this to work in my thoughts about um, how. I think Connor will be effective versus the Rams and why I think we should move forward with it, forward with him. You know, thoughts on that versus Aaron Donald, you know, things like that. But uh let's get it going. Um, so my initial thoughts with um <clears throat> with uh playing against the Rams, man, everybody's asking the big Aaron Donald question, right? So if you think about Connor and Xavier Suofilo, which one of those guys can beat Aaron Donald one on one? The answer is neither one of them can, right? They're, they're, they're just not built to do it consistently by themselves. But um, you have to just take that and say, okay, well, what else can they do for me? This is something that Connor Williams can do uh, clearly better that Xavier Suofilo cannot. And that's uh, move to the second level, block, uh, block in space, pull, work wide, uh, DBs, footwork, things like that. You see how effortlessly Connor Williams got the second level and engaged with Bobby Wagner, right? It's two things you got to do to run the zone effectively. And if you know it, go in, the, go in the comment section and say it. And if you don't know it, somebody in the comments will tell you. Well, Connor Williams does that damn well. And I think part of the reason we were able to to um, to run the ball effectively versus the Seahawks is that we were able to find Bobby Wagner and KJ Wright and get hands on him, you know? And I think Connor Williams was a was a was a big part of that because in these type of sets, right, the two guys that's moving up to uh to linebacker would be Connor and Zach Martin right now, right? How do I know that? Well, Looney's covered right there. We're moving left, so uh uh Leo Connors is covered moving left as well. So the two guys you got moving uh to block linebackers, you got Zach Martin and Connor Williams. They may not do it every time, but at least I trust those guys to get that done. You take a look at uh Connor Williams on second level, sealed his block. You look at Zach Martin on second level, he sealed his block. Now Zach and and um Zach and Joe Looney could have done a better job of comboing this guy. It's actually Zach Martin's guy because he uh he uh he uh ended up on Joe Looney's right hip. But my point was is that both these guards can get to second level easily. I can't say the same for Xavier, but let's keep watching though. So whether he's climbing to the linebacker in between the tackles like I showed you earlier, or whether he's pulling out in space to block a linebacker on the edge, right? to um to kind of just kick and log kick or log these guys out. I think Connor Williams being able to block second level players is going to be so important to us, right? Because we're going to have such a fight on that first level, right? Blocking Aaron and then Dominican Sue, uh Michael Brockers is is going to be such a fight on that first level that we're going to have to get to the second level, right? And I want us to get to the second level with ease to where if um take a look at Okay, cool. Take a look at uh, Joe Looney block. All right, right. Let's just say, for example, Joe Looney's block. Joe Looney's not gonna get a super solid block on this guy. Okay, he kind of pushes Joe back. He gets a little bit of penetration there, but in these run game scenarios, we don't have to push a guy all the way up the field. Right, we don't have to get three, you know, three offensive line push yards. Sometimes we just need to get in front of a defender to just buy Zeke a little bit of room. Now, Zeke ended up cutting right there in 97. Puna Ford ended up catching him a little bit, tripped him up there. But if we can just, um, yeah, Leo got, pretty much got blocked up too. I need a better example. But what I'm saying is that we don't have to just line up and push guys completely down the field four or five yards to run the ball effectively. Sometimes we can just get an Aaron Donald, Sue Brocker's face for like two seconds, then Joe Looney will get whooped. But then they got to catch Zeke. You know what I mean? And that's what will help us get this thing going. If we get in somebody's face and force them to catch Zeke, I think that will help. But I think that will help. But the most important thing is, young Connor Williams here, we've got to block these linebackers, okay? Uh, Something else I like about Connor, too, um, is when Connor gets beat on these blocks, he doesn't stop moving his feet. Um he's still constantly moving and moving and moving and that'll kind of help him recover a little bit. Right. Um, take a look at Connor right here. 
Uh, we know he's in a he's in a one on one situation with this uh, three tech here. I think that's Reed. Could be. I don't know. But he's in a one on one situation uh, with this guy here. Tyron can't help him because Tyron got this end over here by himself. So um, Connor's gonna have to step out and block this dude by himself. And let's take a look at Connor's block, right? If Connor just does this, I'm fine with that, right? Connor's not going to stone somebody at the line of scrimmage. That's cool. That's that's fine. Connor ain't got to be Zach Martin uh, this year, this game, right? But I like Connor's feet. Step, boom. I like Connor punching, okay? How many film sessions have I done saying I wish Xavier would kick? I wish he would punch. Connor may not be strong, but his ass going to kick and punch. Boom. He's going to kick and punch. And that sets him up to continue to fight the rest of this block, right? Um, 90, 90 ends up getting, you know, kind of getting to, to Connor's back hip a little bit. Uh, but watch Connor drop his butt right here, right? He's going to, boom, he's going to get real strong right there. Connor's going to drop and get strong. Connor's not physically imposing, but he has enough technique to where he can survive a lot of these fights if he just, um, if he just keeps moving, keeps using techniques. Um, let's keep watching. Okay, cool. Here's another. Uh, here's another great example of this, right? An another uh, uh, pretty good example. Connor Williams, right here, left guard. He's gonna set, kick, kick, kick. He's gonna punch. I like how consistent he is with uh, with uh, kicking and punching. Um, didn't get the inside there, but at least he shot his hands and got hands on the uh, on this uh, three tech here, right? This is what I really like, right? Connor kind of gets beat to his outside hip right here. This three tech is, is uh, going to get to Connor's left hip. But if Connor just keeps moving his feet, if he keeps moving his feet, he can actually finish people, right? Because at this point, Connor just got to block the side of this guy, right? If you take a look at it, try to get the perfect angle there. Tyron's in the way. Um, at this point, all Connor got to do is block the side of this guy. Just, just half of him. So um, if, if he just keeps his feet moving, even if he's getting beat, it makes the, the pocket look turbulent, yes, but you don't have to worry about this guy chasing Dak. That's one less guy to worry about, right? Kick, 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 punch. He's beating me to my back hip. I keep my feet moving, and I get him on the ground, right? That's kind of what I need. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Wolski. Salute. <laughs> Take a look at Connor right here, man. Chatbox, tell me who the hell number 90 is so I can have some, some, some reference here. But, man, take a look at your rookie, Connor Williams. Boy, boy, I love to see stuff like this. Watch him kick and watch him punch. That's really what I want y'all to focus on right now. Watch his hands when he punches. Watch his feet when he moves. And watch how he bends his knees right here, man. Take a look at young guy. Perfect position. Perfect position. And Connor can do this every play, right? He just got to learn. He just got to learn and be more confident in his hands. You know, Connor Williams... You know, sometimes as a um as an offensive lineman, you know, it can it can kind of get in your head a little bit, right? And and to be fair, the older he gets, the bigger, stronger he gets, he'll get back to playing confidently. If you watch Connor Williams in Texas, when he was a young Connor, he played like this. But junior senior Connor was a nasty dude who used to finish blocks and 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 mush face mask in the ground. You know what I mean? When Connor gets his confidence up, he'll be good to go. But man, watch him right here. Great feet, quick set. Boom, hands on the inside, delivered the blow, hung in there, moved his feet, reacted. <clears throat> Knees bent, not waist bent. Boy, get out of here. Boy, get off my rookie kind of wing. Oh, get off my rookie kind of wing. I don't want to hold y'all all day, man. I've been pretty much seeing some of the same stuff, even on this play. Connor, boom, he's going to extend his arm out in case Looney needs help. Looney doesn't need help. Connor's going to get the second love and get the Bobby Wagner easily. Whatever. Um, hey, man, I don't. I have no fear of the Rams. I fear Aaron, I fear Aaron Donald. I don't even fear Aaron Donald can sue him that way because he's a big, strong dude, but he can't run no more. Um, so moving forward, man, just line up and do what we do, man. Line up and do what we do. I want Connor Williams. I mean, neither one of those guys can block Aaron Donald and pass uh, and pass pro one on one. But I think we can run block versus Aaron Donald. I think we can um, 
we can put hats on Aaron Donald. We can combo double team Aaron Donald. Uh, if Aaron Donald beats us in the run game, he's going to, this is something Aaron Donald doesn't do. Aaron Donald rarely shoots his hands and read and reacts. He normally just kicks the ass of the person in front of him. You know what I'm saying? That's what he does, but it's all good. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'll take that. Um, so with that being said, hey man, y'all hold down for the Doski Wilson and Peaky Whiskey. Like this video, uh, comment, subscribe, uh, thumbs up, and all that. See y'all next time.